How you doing, folks? So, uh, I'm only going to be here for a short while in Bolt, so I apologize to the other talk and our speakers because I'd like to hear all of what they've got to say as well, but unfortunately I can't this evening. Um, so I'm Gowan Morrison, I'm CEO and co-founder of Sensum, and Sensum is a software platform for measuring your emotions. We do that by capturing biometrics and reading your body, and we use that for market research and for interactive events. Um, we started out life uh, as a production company. We've, I've come through several iterations. I've run one of the most successful club nights in Ireland way back in the 90s with a t-shirt company, record label, film production company. Um, and we were looking at different kinds of audience immersion. How could we actually deepen the audience experience for uh, a film, film experience? So we created uh, the world's first emotional response horror film, if that's going to work, is it? No. Um, and uh, what we were doing was using the, the biometrics of individuals, what the physiology was, uh, what was happening with the physiology to be able to control it so it was a unique cinematic experience. So the basic core principles of emotions are your emotions and your physiology are happening at once. You have the, the, the theorists argue on which comes first, but largely what happens is you have an emotional a response to a stimulus, and we're able to measure that in an array of different circumstances. So this led us to actually looking at how could we use that for the, the film. So we wired up people, and we was measuring their skin conductance and their heart rate, and that was being used as a controller for uh, the film. So it was unique to every single screening and viewing experience. And we premiered this in South by Southwest in 2011. And off the back of the interest, we had everything with Disney Research, the head of interactive for Coke International, we got a New Scientist article off it. And generally the consensus was if we could make this into a software platform, it might be something quite interesting. So we've been at this for a couple of years now, and we have really been experimenting with what you can do with this creatively, as well as using it with some of the largest companies on the planet from a research point of view. So this was an event we ran around in the OEI Music Centre, actually, for the launch of the Muse album, The Second Law, and it was a, a small group of super fans, and it was an emotional response listening party, and what was happening was there, as they were listening to the tunes for the first time in this big sound system, we were able to measure their biometrics and then screened it, and screened it live over the top of their uh, visualizations, and it was quite amusing. There was one guy um, who was a real, real, real advocate, super fan, was telling us he loved them, loved them, loved them. And we sat him down to listen to the dubstep track, and it's balls. And he was willing himself, and he was closing his eyes and really wanted it done. It was just generally not responding very much. So it was, a, it, was, it was great to see it all, the way you can actually take this feedback loop of biometrics and then pull it back out to different controllers or variables or outputs. We actually worked with this man, uh, Nigel, on uh, doing this for the Northwest 200, where we actually put sensors on three riders, and we had them go around the Northwest 200. And it was a bit like, uh, you couldn't have written the script better. We had the, the young lad who is the, the rookie, the man of the moment, uh, Seeley, Alistair Seeley, um, and then the, the veteran, Jeremy McWilliams, and they all had very different responses. Uh, Jeremy's was all over the place, sort of adrenaline burnout from his heart rate going around the roads here. And this is actually a shot of, from his point of view, as this guy came up the inside of him, came off the bike at 80 miles an hour, and you can see his heart rate is going bang, as you would expect. Um, but it, Jeremy Seeley, or Alistair Seeley's was like the ice man. It was just lap after lap after lap, and he was working with a sports psychologist on how to breathe as you're going past guys at 200 miles an hour down, down the roads. So it was fascinating to see how this was then played back on broadcast along with the onboard camera footage and how then the commentators used it to be able to, to add something to the to commentary, the whole thing. We did, we've been on the gadget show a couple of times doing the emotional engagement of different um, experiences. One was 4K TVs versus HD TVs. One was e-readers versus books. Um, so who figures? E-readers one or books one, as you reckon? Books, why? Better. Just better. 
you're right, it was books actually, and it was due to the haptic feedback. It was another sense that you were using, it focused you, rather than just passively looking at words passing on a screen. But the story generally did encapsulate you after a bit of time. Uh, today, actually, uh, we just went live. Well, we didn't. The agency we were working with for Jaguar, for the new Jaguar XE, went live uh, with this thing we did where we were measuring the excitement of drivers on a track day as we were driving around with the new Jaguar XE. Um, we were measuring their biometrics and being able to get this for how excited they were as they were driving around the tracks. And Mr. Sam Kosman, volcano diver, loon bag in the extreme, explorer and adventurer, went off to the Marham Crater on the Pacific Rim, where fewer people have walked here than on the surface of the moon. And he took our system and sensors and climbed down. And this is all the information of him as he climbed down into the volcano and his heart rate and his skin conductance as he went through the processes of climbing down into this, putting the suit on, anticipation and excitement, walking to the edge of the crater, and then getting there, the elation and excitement of standing at this humbling experience. Absolutely phenomenal. So the point of this whole thing is the future, where are we going with all of this? Future is, at the moment, from our point of view, the technology that is coming at us thick and fast, the means of capturing all this data and being able to use it. We were talking to Red Bull Media recently, who are talking about how you can humanize content. They've got all this information and data coming from uh, people jumping out of planes, jumping over canyons, cycling off extreme sports, all this stuff. And they want to be able to take all this data and put it into the media content. They want to use it as media overlays or uh, additional media data that can come out real time for all of this. It could be the wind, it could be the temperature, it could be your heart rate, it could be all this information together at once, which give you all these new layers of understanding for the experiences, the designs, the media, and the events. And smartwatches and wearables are our first step into this. The Internet of Things is coming at us thick and fast. But all of this stuff, they're hardware with software that needs to be uh, given away for free to help them sell the hardware. So it means their creative outputs are unbelievable. You can take all this access and plug it in and give yourselves whole new ways to be able to create and design uh, that we've never had before. And with that, this is the newest thing that we've worked on, which is called EmoCam. Uh, it's for Android at the moment. We'll be putting it out on iOS at the start of next year. And it's a, it's a camera app for capturing and tagging your emotions with. So those moments where you've taken all those photographs, those usually em emotive moments that you want to capture for whatever reason, can then be tagged with emotions as well. You can take a live feed of data from the heart rate, from the biometrics, from the smartwatches, the fitness bands, as well as you consciously inputting your emotions through emoticons. And then all that data can be unpacked at the other side for you to start to see how your emotions ebb and flow over time. I think that's it. Thank you very much.